Thank you, Mark. We will try and get the brackets fixed because that is obviously very wrong. Denny Thompson, though, is very right. The Elida head coach brought to you by Seifert Orion's Funeral Home. You guys get the winner of St. Mary's and Shawnee. So you get to wait. You get the buy in that first round. Uh, draw pretty much when is expected over at Lima Seniors today for the six WBL schools. Yeah, it didn't take real long. Uh, you know, the vote went you know according to what people probably thought. WBL has been such an interesting league this year. Going into the last two weeks, four teams tied for first. You've got those two teams the next week, two of those teams in uh, Bath, and then you finish off with Salina. How has your team grown in WBL play, would you say, as the season has gone on? Well, I, I think in general we, we, we've become a better team. Um, you know, I, oddly enough, it seems like Dakota has found another level here this weekend. Yeah. He, he had a look this weekend that I, I really hadn't seen from him before, and uh, uh, I didn't think it was in there, but it is. And uh, it's really, it really been a pleasure to watch him play here this weekend. But uh, I, th I think the, the key for our team, though, is the other people that are stepping up, and we're getting really good production from other people. And in the WBL right now, you know, like I said, you know, with four teams, six and one, they've got to play each other sometimes. So right. we've got two really good opponents coming up in the WBL, and uh, uh, so, so do some other people. And <laughs> it's, it's just going to be a really wild weekend. Let's reflect on, on this past weekend. Went up to Otto Glandorf. It's always been a good rivalry, even back into Coach Adams' days when he was going to the Supreme Court. There were some crazy moments at both facilities. Just what does that rivalry mean, even with OG a little younger this year? Well, it's just it's just a good rivalry. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, over the years it's grown and it's 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 a very very intense rivalry, but good. Yeah. And uh, uh, that was no that game was no different. You know, we were able to really jump on them early and uh, sustain it. You know, as as a coach, has been through that game a lot of times. I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the for the run to come from OG, <laughs> uh, but we were we were able to sustain our energy and and, and keep that cushion. And uh, uh, it was a really good performance by us. And then take us to the atmosphere. We could see it on WOSN last night. It'll be on again tonight at 1130. Uh, I was listening to Aaron Matthews on the call last night. The LCC Elida atmosphere. Dakota breaks the record in the first quarter, and it's just electric throughout the whole night. It was. It was, it was a, uh, a game that I, I was hoping would, would go that way, not just because we won, but I, I was hoping it would just be right there the whole game, and it was. Although we got out to another good start, um, you know, they came right back, and, and, and it was – I don't – maybe five points one way or another the rest of the way in that game. But uh, uh, you know, I, two really good teams. I, I, I t talked about this before. I, there's some similarities there with I think they went through a stretch where they weren't playing very well, and uh, they've gotten it going of late. So I think you saw two really good teams going at each other last night. A little different feel for the sectional this year. Six teams. In the past, we've had eight WBL schools. Man, work drops down. That's part of it. Kenton's going to move out to Riverdale. Th does it change anything because you don't play that first game? It's a little bit different, but it's still the same. It's still a WBL <laughs> tournament, yep. and uh, uh, no, I, I feel the same like I've always done. It's very, very, you know very hard to beat a team three teams three times, mm -hmm. or even play a team three times, and that happens in that sectional. Um, but you know, it's 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 a it's the tournament, right. and you got to get ready, and, and you know. Really, the, our WBL, because you've got to be ready every Friday night, really prepares us well, and, and everybody in the WBL, well for the tournament. No question. Danny Thompson has been busy plowing driveways and all kinds of stuff with all this snow. He's still got some more work to do, so we thank him for dropping by tonight. Brought to you by Cypher Orion's Funeral Home.